first of all type windows 7 iso with usb 3.0 drivers go to this first internet archive link scroll down and click on iso image and it'll start getting downloaded if your motherboard only has uefi and no csm or legacy support then you can click off this video you will need a usb key with at least 8 gigabytes and rufus and there you have your rufus so now you plug your usb key there you go now you go to select and go to wherever you uh, save the windows 7 iso in my case the downloads folder partition scheme mbr that's important otherwise you're not gonna tinker with anything else click start another program is accessing this drive do you want to format it anyway yes yes there you go. Now we'll wait for this. Now that's done, but I forgot to mention that we also have to install the ACPI patch that I've included the link in the description. So you go to releases over here, click on 1.0, and then click on the zip file and download it. And then you'll right click on the zip file once it's downloaded and extract it. Enter the folder of 1.0, go to this ACPI.sys, cut it or copy it. You go to your USB and then paste it to the root. And now we're good. Here I'll just restart the computer and since I have a Lenovo laptop I'm gonna keep spamming the F2 key to enter to the BIOS now keep in mind if you have a laptop then uh, the trackpad will not work you will always need an external mouse I'll go to boot and uh, switch over to that USB by clicking F6 then I'll click F10 to exit saving changes keep in mind you can always change the boot order Press any key to boot from USB, sure thing. Now you will see a Windows 10 logo, but that's perfectly fine because here it's using the Windows 10 installer. There you go. Now you see your Windows 7 background and you're soon enough you're going to see setup is starting. There you are in your installer. I'll select the French keyboard layout because I have an A30 and then I click next. Then I'll go to Windows 7 Ultimate. Now here I'm going to be dual booting, so I'll go to this partition and then I'll format it. Keep in mind, if you do have Windows 11 installed, then you're going to have to format the entire drive. But if you have Windows 10, you don't have to do that. So next. And then it's going to keep copying our file. So once your computer restarts, you will get the infamous and rather dreaded acpi.sys error. So what you want to do is boot back into the USB once this automatically restarts. Once you're back to the setup, you're going to click on shift fn and f10 up there. Now you have your command prompt. Type disk part. Keep in mind this will be in QWERTY. So if you have an a keyboard, you're going to have to keep guessing around. List all then exit now you're gonna copy this really long command copy space and then the letter of your usb key in my case it's the letter d so i'm gonna type d then whatever the hell this is called then slash acpi dot this space and then whatever uh, partition you installed windows on the windows 7 in my case it's called e so i'm gonna type e then those two dots whatever the hell you call them slash windows slash system 32 slash drivers type it exactly in this way then hit enter then you can just click on all there you go one file copied now you can click on the x button and just quit the setup and now you can unplug your usb key because you don't need that Go to Windows 7 and start Windows normally. 3, 2, 1. And there you have your boot animation functioning normally. Setup is updating registry settings. Setup is starting services and it's gonna finish the installation. Friendly reminder that the trackpad won't work if you have a laptop. Setup will continue after restarting your computer, so plug back the USB key because the ACPI.sys error is going to come back. Back to the BIOS. And now let's get that USB key up by clicking F6, then F10 to exit saving changes, then hit enter. Press any key to boot from USB, so you're gonna do that again. Now let's click on Shift FN, then F10 once again, and then we'll do the exact same stuff that ACPI.sys fix. So, disk part, list vol, exit, then you type copy. Enter, all, boom. One file copied, now you can leave this setup again and unplug that USB key. Let's choose Windows 7 and the animation works just fine. Setup is preparing your computer for first use, setup is checking video performance, the usual stuff. And there you go, you have your generic Windows setup, so now you can just 
do whatever the hell you want, all that kind of stuff. You want product key? You don't want a product key, that's fine. So here's a product key, and we'll just enable that and click next. And there you go, you've got yourself a nice product key that works. So I'll just change the time. Next. I'll just blur this out, but even the Wi-Fi works. I'll just choose public network. Windows is finalizing your settings. Now, if this screen gets stuck at Windows is finalizing your settings, then you can force shut it down. And uh, there you go. You have your Windows 7 with the sound working. So in my computer, Aero does not work and I have to get a mod to get it working, but you know, I'm just gonna set the resolution up and uh, keep changes. And this is how you install Windows 7 on modern hardware. Thank you guys for watching. A sub would be appreciated and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.